This is gorgeous George's ballet Thomas Ross now coming into the ring with his tray and perfume. He always has to say a little perfume around the ring because of the dirty wrestlers that have been in there. He's spraying the ring disinfecting. Now that is not a real disinfect. That is a special brand of gorgeous George perfume that the second is spraying around the ring. I think we're about ready for a wrestling match. There's the bell. Two falls out of three, a one-hour time limit. Gorgeous George, the human orchid. And one of the James boys, Jesse James, the puppet of Greek wrestler from Houston, Texas. They're over the top strand of the rope, immediately above our microphone. There's a clean break. There's a clean break. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. Here we go. George for a ride. Here we go again. Ooh. He's up hard right to the midsection. George is on the ball. Oh, that beautiful rolling flying hip lock is. Look at that flying hip lock. It really cracks the opponent's neck. And over and under and a body press. One, two, three. That's all there is. That side headlock and that rolling flying hip lock of George's George is one of the most vicious holes in wrestling. After two or three of those, is groggy enough so the George can come down into a body press. up again when the action starts. Here's the bell and here comes the wrestlers. A side headlock and a right between the eyes. Here goes again. An over and under headlock. There's another over. Watch Jesse. Ooh, he's taking it on the chin. There's another one. Really softening him up. Going against the ropes, there's, a sound. there's that rolling flying hip lock. And a, there's that headbutt. Another headbutt. A drop kick to the chin. Another drop kick to the chin. And there is Gorgeous Stores. One, two, three.
used those a flying series of flying hip locks that fired because out of them came Jesse James with a series of head butts and a body press to win the second fall in very short time. The gorgeous one is not quite so gorgeous. In the Amaneco, there's that figure four chin lock by the gorgeous one. They're right over our corner here. He gives Jesse a diamond twist. There's a side headlock. Getting him over there, working around the eyes, knuckling him around the eyes. He knuckles him again around the eyes, and Jesse's a little blinded. George comes in with that side headlock again, knuckling him around the eyes again. Jesse's now up into the full Indian death lock. It's a full Indian death lock by Jesse James. The vicious hold. This can be a submission hold. Whipped him again with an elbow smash. Another elbow smash. And still the pressure on that Indian death lock. Cecil says if it's so tough and you're moaning and groaning so loud, why don't you give up? <laughs> Smash to the jaw. Just George has got him off balance. And by golly, George pinned him. He pinned his shoulders to the canvas. Although Jesse had the Indian death lock, George rolled him over and got Jesse's shoulders to the canvas for the necessary count of three. So the only way you can call it is there's an Indian death lock that backfires. Yes, James is in the best condition, but the winner of the match, the ball of the match, George is George.